everybody, my name is Miss Liesel, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make something really, really neat. It's a tool used by the ancient Greeks that was one of the first methods of encoding and decoding secret messages. Uh, this tool is called a Scytale, or possibly a Skytale, or possibly a Skittily. I watched a lot of videos on how to pronounce the word, and everybody had something different to say. Uh, but most of the things that I saw said Scytale, so uh, that's what we're making today. A Scytale. The word, if you're curious, is spelled S-C-Y-T-A-L-E. So the Scytale, like I said, is an ancient Greek tool that they used uh, mostly in the military uh, to send secret messages to each other so that the enemy wouldn't know what they were talking about. It's a really cool uh, way to send secret messages to your friends, uh, so I'm really excited to teach you about it. So let's go ahead and get started. For this craft, the things you will need are a pair of scissors, a long piece of paper. I went for um, an 11 by 17 inch uh, paper, a pen, some tape, and something long and cylindrical uh, like a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. Um, you can also use a cup uh, or you can use uh, something else that's long and, cyl and cylindrical like this, um, but I have a paper towel roll, so that's what I'll be using. The first thing we're going to do is cut our paper into strips because right now it's too wide for the side tail. So we need to cut it into strips uh, so that the scrolls will fit uh, on the side tail. If you have a ruler, you can measure out your, uh, your, uh, your lengths of scroll, uh, but since I don't have a ruler with me, I'm just gonna fold it. Uh, and you can watch what I do uh, so that you can copy along. The first thing that we do is we fold it lengthwise like this, nice and even. And then we'll fold it over again. And then we'll use our scissors to cut them out. At this point, you should have four strips that look something like this. But I'm gonna cut this uh, in half lengthwise one more time. So, because it's still a little bit wide for our, uh, for, our, for our tube. And so, if we did it like this, we'd only have enough room for like a three word message on our, uh, on our side tail because there needs to be one letter on each uh, section of the paper. So, I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise one more time so that we uh, have as much uh, real estate, as it were, <laughs> on the piece of paper as possible. Now that you have two uh, skinnier strips of paper, you'll see that uh, it works a little bit better with the, with the tube that we're using. However, we still, it's still not quite long enough for a whole message. So what we're gonna do is tape them so that their ends are together and that way we have a longer scroll. All right, so now that we have our longer scroll and our tube, we can start the assembly. So what you're gonna do when you, wrap your, when you wrap your scroll around your tube is when you wrap it, make sure that you're not overlapping. You don't wanna overlap the paper. You want it to be right next to each section, like this, so that there's no overlap. They're just right next to each other, like this. Make sure when you wrap it, there's no overlap. You just want it to look 
right next to each other like this. Now that your side tail looks like this, you're gonna wanna tape down the ends. I've already taped down this end, but you're gonna wanna tape down the ends so that the paper doesn't move around uh, while you're writing your secret message. Uh, because now, it's time for us to do that. So now that your scroll is all attached to your side tail, we're gonna write out our secret message. So there's enough space for one letter on each of these sections. So since I have, uh, if I put, if I turn it like this, <laughs> I have six spaces, but if I turn it like this, I have seven spaces. If I start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Remember that when you are writing your message is that one letter goes on each of these sections. And so you can turn your side tail to continue writing your message. Just make sure that there's enough space that you only use one letter in each of these sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out my secret message now. So you'll see here that my message reading is cool and I love it. Uh, so you'll see that's what my message is. You'll also notice that when I didn't have enough room to write love in this space after I, I just skipped over it. So you can do that yourself if you'd like. Uh, and so this is what your secret message will look like on your side tail. Now, it's time to unspool it. So we can start here with our tape, remove it like this. Ah, see, so I wrote the G on the, on the tape. So uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. So if that happens to you, don't worry about it. That's just all part of being a master decoder. Gee, and while I'm here, I'm gonna fix this eye because it looks a little wonky. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna unspool our secret message. Whee. And once you get up here to where the other tape is, you can remove that. And now you'll see that our side tail is just a bunch of random letters. <laughs> so, if you notice any like problems with some of your letters, like if you maybe want to trace over it, like that R up there, uh, it doesn't, it's not quite as dark, so I'm gonna fix it there. All right, I'm gonna fix this A. And so now, this is our secret message. And it does look completely like gibberish, right? Now that we don't know what the words are. Like there are some words here that are recognizable, like, uh, like down here, there's the word in, uh, but mostly, I mean, there's the word DVD, uh, but mostly uh, this is gibberish. And so the only way that someone will be able to figure out your secret code is if they have something long and cylindrical like this, that's exactly the same size. And so you'll see that if we wrap it over again, so that it's not overlapping, just like before. Our code is back. Reading 
is cool. And I love it. And there you have it, everybody. That is how you make a side tail using a paper towel roll and one really long string of uh, paper. So now that you know how to do this, uh, you can send secret messages to your friends or to your family or to other people. Uh, as long as they understand how to use the tool, you'll be able to send secret messages to your friends and your family, and it's gonna be super fun. I hope that you had a really fun time learning about uh, the ancient Greeks and their Scytail, or their Skytail, or their Skitali, uh, <laughs> whatever it was. I hope that you had fun with uh, our video today. And uh, I hope that you'll tune in again the next time we do something fun like this.